sunshine on Friday and a high of 26 degrees. So there you go. Did the thunderstorms wake you up? Last no, night? I sleep right through them. My uh, significantly better half, yes. on the other hand. Yes, she is. Uh, yes, yes, and you can vouch for that. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah, she definitely does wake up to them, but I snore like a baby right through them. Well, let's hope that when we do this little promotion that the weather gods exactly. comply. Yes, it is Pack the Park time. Chat TV doing the annual Pack the Park. Ours is going Monday, July the 20th over at Athletic Park. The Medicine Hat Mavericks taking on the Okotoks Dogs, the top team in the league. So the more of you we can get out there heckling the dogs, Woo! the better. Also because heckling is just good times. Mm. Uh, no real uh, contest, no anything like that. Just call us and tell us how many you want. 403-548-8287 or throw us an email. ChatTV.promotions at jpbg.com. You can have two, you can have four, you can have... Something Maybe that's 14. not a multiple of two. Know. 20. If you have 19 really good friends, there you go. You've got yourself 20 <laughs> tickets. Very, very And easy Liam to do. Is, is the uh, king of the heckling. Just that so is you know. true. If you want a co heckler, I'm always available because Nicely. I love it. I love it. Nice yes, there are rules. No swearing. Yes. All right. Uh, getting into sports. Yes. Uh, still some big NHL free agents out there that yeah. were signed today. A couple of Canadian teams getting in on the action. Mm -hmm. And drag racing. Have you ever wanted to drag race? Oh, are you kidding? I would do it in a heartbeat. And yes. I'd do it in that vehicle right there. I'm sure you would. There are ladies making more of a presence known down at the local drag strip. Aaron Glazer is going to have that story for you coming up right after the break. Welcome back, everybody. A bit of an interesting weekend it was for the Medicine Hat Mavericks. They dropped what was a pretty tough game in Lethbridge Friday night. They actually had a 3-1 lead into the sixth inning and then ended up losing 6-4. But they took the frustrations of that loss out on the Weber and Beavers Saturday night, winning a 17-13 slugfest. So they went into Moose Jaw last night looking to go 2-1 on their little mini weekend road trip. They were down 5-1 after five innings, but they scored three runs in their half of the sixth. That got them back into it. But then Moose Jaw hurler Sean Buford just shut the door from there on in. He only gave up one hit over his last three innings of work. He actually went the distance to pick up his fourth win of the year. The Medicine Hat defense made some costly errors in the second and fifth innings. That really ended up being the difference. So the Mavs are now 10 and 16. They're two games behind Edmonton for third in the West, which is of course the final playoff spot in that division. The boys are off today. They're gonna get a really good test in Swift Current tomorrow night. The Indians lead the Central Division and trail only Okotoks for the top record overall. All right, sticking with baseball, the Knights of Columbus single lane Knights got off to a bit of a rocky start this year, but they'd really started playing some really good ball of late this past weekend. Spitz tournament was a chance for the team to show they are willing and ready to start contending with the top teams around. They took only one loss and run Robin play. That was against the Weyburn Beavers. And wouldn't you know it, they got themselves a nice little opportunity to get some revenge in yesterday's championship game. Again, taking on Weyburn. Top of the second, we pick it up. The Knights already up 5 nothing. Riley Kleckner on the mound and the Beavers are going to single here to bring a run in and they are finally on the scoreboard. It is 5-1. Next batter hits a grounder right up the middle, but check out Ryan Schibler with the diving stab and toss to get the runner at second. That is a major league play right there. But a couple of batters later, two away, Kleckner plunks the batter and it is 5-2. All right, top of the four we go. Cordy Flakorski nabs the infield fly, then guns the runner at first. It's a beauty of a double play. Bottom of the inning, Garrett Weiss. It's an easy one to third, but it's never all that easy in baseball. The throw is wild bringing in David Hoff and Greg Adams. Remember those two names. It is 7-2 for the Knights. Next batter, Riley Kleckner. He finds a hold down the third baseline. The Knights are going to hustle that runner home, and that made it 8-2. Bottom of five now, bat staying red hot. Hoff pops one to left. He gets a bit of a lucky break here as the fielder drops it. Austin Weisgerber is going to turn on the Jets to see Coach Adam Moser saying, go, go, go. He is going to score from second. He just beats the tag at home. It is 10 to 3. Then it's going to be Schibler lining one to center right between the ump's legs. Goal! Once again, Hoff and Adams come in to score. It is 12 3 Medicine Hat. Top of six. Beavers trying to make a huge comeback. Greg Adams on the mound. There is a single to right. That scores a run. And the Beavers making some noise. Next batter, a ground to the third. That will bring another run in. They scored four runs in the sixth, but. Top of seven, it is all done as Adam sits his man down with the game-ending strikeout. The Knights take the tournament with a 13-7 win. Riley Kleckner was the man of the hour on the mound and at the plate. Riley's been great for us all year. I mean, we play him every game. I don't think he's had a game. He comes out every day, plays hard, makes the routine plays. If we need him to throw on the mound, he th actually closed the first game. Came back through, uh, I think, 50-plus pitches in this game, won a ball game. We knew we had a good chance, but and then after we lost to Weber in the first time, we were said to ourselves we're going to beat him this time, so 
it happened. All right, the NHL free agent signing period is almost a full six days old, but there were still some pretty big fish out there just looking to sink their jaws into a hook, baited with two things, lots of years and lots of money. And two more big names got that wish today. A pair of Canadian teams actually getting involved. This morning, Montreal Canadiens general manager Bob Gainey said Alex Kovalev would not be returning to the Habs. So a few hours later, the Ottawa Senators said, OK, why don't you come over here? We're a rival. That should be fun. The Russian sniper signed a two-year, $10 million contract to go to the nation's capital. The Sens, of course, still struggling to move disgruntled for Danny Heatley. Two times he refused to waive his no-trade clause to go to the Oilers. The other Ontario team making a pretty big splash. Brian Burke bolstering up his blue line by signing Francois Beauchemin to a four-year deal that averages around $3.8 million a season. The Sorel Quebec native is coming off an injury-plagued year with the Ducks that saw him miss all but 20 regular season games after tearing his ACL in November. He did return in time to score one goal in 13 playoff games. And two more little signings. Nazem yep. Kadri, the Leafs' first uh, round mm -hmm. pick. He signs yep. an entry-level deal. Good and the him. Canucks, yeah, the Canucks re-signed Shane O'Brien, the defenseman mm -hmm. to a year, and uh, goalie Andrew Raycroft. He'll look good in a Canucks jersey, hey? On the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a quick look at uh, the radar actually right now. I wanted to show you the systems that are moving through actually the precipitation. You can see a big storm that, uh, well, you can see exactly why we're under the thunderstorm warning, hey? So if you got any windows open, if you have any furniture outside that you don't want to get absolutely drenched, if you got some animals that hate thunder, you might want to bring them inside. I have my galoshes at the ready. <laughs> yes, you do. My rubber ducky. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs>